Hey, ho, let's stop embarrassing ourselves with that terrible power chord playing. I'm Ben Eller, and this is why you suck at guitar. Alright, today we're going to talk about something a lot of guitar players struggle with, which is playing power chords. Power chords are extremely important no matter what kind of music you're into, whether you play rock music or punk or heavy metal or whatever. You gotta be playing power chords a lot if you play the guitar. So it's really important to get your act together and start playing these like a beast. Okay, here's the deal. Here's what power chord playing is not. It's not this really tightly controlled thing like this, where I'm being really gentle and being very careful with my pick and stuff. It's not that. Nor is it this. Or just being reckless and out of control and beating on the strings like an idiot and not really controlling anything. Okay, good power chord playing is actually a little bit of both of those. Whenever you're playing power chords really well, one hand is really in control and the other hand is actually really out of control. Those two things together give us the best sound possible. Uh, it's a lot like the odd couple in a way which is probably a reference lost on you guys by several decades. Let's explore that. It's just a old TV show where some dingus named Felix, who's a real neat and tidy guy, lives with another dingus named Oscar, who's real messy and stuff. So in our case, our right hand is going to be Oscar and be totally out of control, not clean and tidy, reckless, you know? And the, uh, the fretting hand here is going to be Felix and be very in control and neat and tidy. Those two things working together make power chord playing sound great. Let's talk about Oscar first, the picking hand, okay? This is really easy to grasp. All you got to know is beat the absolute crap out of your strings. Really hit them hard, you know? You can't be all that concerned about hitting only the two notes that are in the power chord that you're playing. You can't be too concerned about that. You gotta understand, especially if you're playing something really fast. You cannot expect this hand to only hit two strings every time you're going up and down that fast. It's just not possible. So just let go of that. Don't even try to be neat. Beat them up. Keep a good, strong rhythm. That's really all that this hand has to do. That does, however, create a lot of problems if this hand is not on the ball. If this hand isn't holding things down, it's gonna sound terrible. So let's go ahead and jump into talking about Felix over here. That's the more involved one. That'll take a minute. Let's get into it. Okay, so now you've got your picking hand under control, or rather out of control. It's smashing all the strings. It's just hitting all of them. You don't really even care if you're hitting the right strings or not. Cool, you're doing good. Now, the problem is it'll still sound absolutely awful if you don't get this hand under control. So let's talk about Felix over here, the neat and tidy one. Let's get this under control. That way, all your uh, slamming it out on the strings over here will start to sound good. Here's the deal. You cannot use typical guitar technique when you do this technique. All right? If you play on the tips of your fingers, like this, if you play on the very tip of that index finger, it's going to create a lot of problems because all these strings are still going to ring out. So while I'm over here bashing with Oscar, all these strings are ringing out, typically sounding extremely awful. Here's what you got to do. You've got to play with a flat index finger. It's got to be flattened out like this. Look at the difference again. Here's arched up. Here's me playing on the tip of my finger. Here's me flattening out. One of the biggest differences I can point out is that I'm fretting the string right here on my finger. I'm not fretting it on the tip. I'm fretting it more on the pad of the finger, okay? Try to fret on the tip, your finger's always gonna arch up, see? You gotta fret on the pad of the finger. Here's what happens. Whenever you fret that way, whenever you push down with the pad of the finger, you know, I'm just gripping down right there. The rest of my finger here is real loose and real relaxed. That is exactly what we want because it's gonna mute all these strings out back here. Meaning, whenever I smash into them real haphazardly with my pick here, you don't hear them. They sound muted like this. Then our good notes. 
So again, I'm gonna go through the string by string here. Here's the E, here's the A, here's the D being muted out by the back side of this finger. Here's the G being muted out. Here's the B, here's the E. Now see, look, if I wasn't doing that, if I was arching up like a dingus like that, here's what that sounded like. Sound like some kind of a loser. You got to get this muting under control. This is the real secret of this. I've never seen any guitar magazines talk about this. I've never seen any online guitar lessons talk about this, but everybody does it. Watch Dave Grohl, watch Billy Joe Armstrong, watch anybody playing power chords, and you're gonna see him doing this grip. Because who wants to concentrate on what they're doing with this hand and making sure they're hitting just the right strings and stuff? Nobody wants to do that. Just bash them out. Let this hand be in control, cleaning up the messes, all right? Okay, so now you probably understand this concept about muting with the uh, index finger over here, but if you can't get it to work, it's probably because the way you're gripping the neck sucks. So let's get that straightened out, okay? Don't put your palm right up against the neck whenever you play like a noob. Whenever you do that, it makes your fingers too long for the neck, which means whenever you're trying to get to the strings, you're having to bend them. If you're doing that, you're never going to get that straight finger that we're looking for, so you can't do that. Here's how to correct your grip. Make a flipper out of your hand. Just straighten all your fingers, right? Slip that around the neck of the guitar. So now I got these straight fingers on this side. I got my thumb on the back here. And here's what I want you to do to get this straight index finger grip going on. Just slowly lower it until the pad of your pointer finger is on the low E string. Bam, there we go. Make your power chord now. There's your grip. Look, your palm isn't touching the neck anymore. You don't want that. Again, if we're up here, we're too long, we have to bend our fingers. No good. Bring that palm down. Now you fit on the neck. That should be all that you need to get this grip working, okay? Okay, so now you've got your technique worked out. Your uh, picking hand is over here bashing the crap out of the strings. You're over here muting really well with this finger. You're doing good. But then when you play Iron Man like this, It makes your family want to disown you, and I can't blame them. The thing is, is you've got to watch out for muting your low E string now. Anytime you're playing power chords with the pointer finger on the A string, what you've got to do is watch out for this low E now. Because it's going to ring out if you're ever picking it. Take your pointer finger, and with the very tip of it, just barely touch that low E string. Just barely. Look, it takes very little skin to stop that string. See, I'm just barely poking at it. That's all it takes. Don't fret the note and then push it up until you're poking the E like that. Don't do that. Just fret low enough on that pointer finger to where the tip of your finger is going to touch the low E. Now you can just bash away, bash away, bash away all. Alright, so what now? You want to play power chords with the root note on the D string, right? It's kind of dumb, but whatever. Here's what you're going to do. How am I going to keep the E string and the A string from ringing out while I'm over here smashing the string like that guy on the dang internet told me to do? You're going to keep the A string quiet with the tip of the finger, just like what you did with your E string a second ago. Okay? Now your low E, you're going to mute out with the tip of the middle finger. Okay? Again, look, it just barely takes just the lightest touch to keep that quiet. Be careful not to hit the other strings too. You don't want that, you don't want to bar it. Just using the very tip of the finger, just put the slightest touch on it. Woo. And that's all it takes. So there you have it kids, everything you ever wanted to know about playing power chords, but were too afraid to ask. That should get you in control here. Let your picking hand smash it out. Let your fretting hand be in control and clean it up. That should get you there. Uh, let me know if you got any questions about this. I'll answer that in the comments section and let me know what other lessons you would like to see. Tell me what you suck at and I'll tell you why you do, okay? Follow me on Twitter at Ben Eller Guitars. Subscribe to my channel and go get to work on that practicing, okay? See you kids later.